actually we're gonna try to get that synced up. Cool. Alexa, set your volume for eight. All right, so this is one of my favorite parts from uh, Mall Rats, and it's um, a little weird. I'm gonna say this again. Um, I was a little late in the Kevin Smith game. A lot of my friends had seen it in high school. Um, you know, I'd seen Clerks and I saw Mall Rats when it first came out, and I I actually did not see Mall Rats um, until after my ex-wife and I had separated. And it's actually this kind of thing that he that that was used to um, get Brody to figure out he should go fight for his girl that actually made me figure out that nah, I wasn't going to fight for my ex-wife um, so it's a little weirdly you know uh, yeah imbalanced but it, it's a great scene hope this comes across That's not loud enough. Hold on. Alexa, set your volume for 10. Actually, I was just looking at this uh, little pink number over here. Oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. They look happy, don't they? What, the bras? No, the couple. They look happy. I guess, as far as couples go. You know, it reminds me of an issue of Spider-Man I did when Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy went lingerie shopping. Of course, the Green Goblin showed up, and he pumpkin bombed the hell out of the place. But aside from that, it, it's pretty much the same thing. Oh my god. Holy shit! Aren't you? Oh, Stanley. Hi. The Fantastic Four, Reed Richards. Can his whole body stretch? I mean, every part, you know, like his... Hey, <laughs> I know what you mean. We never really tackled stuff like that in the old days. I mean, what with the comic book code and all? I can't believe I'm standing here talking to you. You're responsible for the greats. Let's do the list. Spider-Man. Guilty. The Incredible Hulk. Afraid so. Oh, man, this is so cool. The X-Men. Now that you mention it. Shit, man, you are a god. Hey, look at that couple. Boy, they sure seem to be in love, huh? You know, what's with that? That's the second time you've commented on couples in love. Well, I, I like that sort of thing. Tell me, do you have a girlfriend, Brody? Had one. We just broke up. The thing, is this dork made of orange rock like the rest of his body? <laughs> it's a superhero secret. Tell me, Brody, why did you and your girlfriend break up? She was a pain in the ass. She wanted me to be this typical boyfriend guy. Said I was too into my own world, comics and all. Yeah, I can relate. There was a time when it was all about comics for me, you know? I, I had a girl probably the same as yours. She always complained that I spent too much time with my own comics. And, uh... Eventually, we broke up. See, what did she know? Here you are now, a legend in the field. Probably had a slew of women since her, am I right? Oh, lots of women. Jagger and me, we had a running contest to see who had the most. Matter of fact, last time I looked, I was way ahead. Damn, that's hot! But I never forgot that girl. Well, did you ever get back together with her? One day, I found out she got married. I had blown it. I had uh, missed my window. What'd you do? I went on with my life. I created some special new superheroes. Uh, they were characters that reflected my own heartbreak and my own regrets. How so? Dr. Doom wears body armor to conceal his own mangled form, right? Yeah. Okay. That was me beneath the armor. The Hulk. A normal guy one minute, a rage of emotions the next. Just like me, when I thought about what I'd given up. So you created each character as a way to deal with your one big regret. Yeah, the girl that got away. Look, do yourself a favor, Brody. Don't wait, because all the money, all the women, even all the comic books in the world, they can't substitute for that one person. I don't know, all the comics in the world? Trust me, true believer. Well, good talking to you. Keep up all the good work. You keep reading them. I'll keep writing them. Hey, Stan. Yeah. She really meant that much to you? Brody, I'd give it all up. All of it. But just one more day with her. Take care. Stan. Hey, 
Hey, you know, I think he bought it. Yeah? yeah, yeah. What kind of story did you give him? Oh, it was the Vulture soliloquy, you know, from the Spider-Man anniversary issue. Love be a Vulture tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I'm I can't think enough. Oh, forget it. But, you know, I think you ought to get him some help. He seems to be really hung up on superhero sex organs. <laughs> but I'll you'll have grow it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mr. Lee. Yeah. Excelsior. Oh, you got that right. See ya. Anyway, it's one of my favorites. So, that'll be it for tonight. Uh, I gotta go spray this thing down. So, uh, Stan, rest in peace, my man. You, uh, you've earned your rest. So, uh, I'd say I'd do 